The thing is, we humans are pretty bad at visualizing anything beyond three dimensions, and even three dimensions on a flat screen can be tricky. So what we really want is to take this high dimensional data and squash it down to two dimensions so we can plot it on a screen and actually see patterns and clusters and the relationships that exist in the data. Now, the key insight behind Disney is that when we are reducing dimensions, we want to preserve the relationships between points. If two points are close together in high dimensional space, they should probably be close together in our 2D visualization too. And if they are far apart in high dimensions, we'd like them to be far apart in 2D as well. But here is where it gets tricky. You can't perfectly preserve all distances when you grow from say 100 dimensions down to just 2. So Disney makes a choice. It focuses primarily on preserving local structure, meaning it really cares about keeping nearby points together, while being a bit more flexible about global distances.